Well, many people have never heard of head and neck cancer. And while cancer is always a serious health concern, our David Wiley tells us what we can do to prevent and cure this disease. Cancer, it's a diagnosis no one wants to hear. And while there are many types of cancer, head and neck cancer is generally not as well known as others. It is an under-recognized cancer, but it is not a rare cancer. In fact, the latest figures are that approximately 63 to 65,000 cases of this cancer are diagnosed per year in the United States. And of those newly diagnosed cases of head and neck cancer, more than 13,000 will result in death. The causes of head and neck cancer can vary. There are two general categories of cause. One would be exposure to the components of tobacco and alcohol. And then the second, more recently, would be involvement with a virus called the human papillomavirus. As a patient, uh, items to look for regarding uh, symptoms or signs would be hoarseness of voice, lesion on the tongue, which may or may not bleed, difficulty swallowing, and uh, swollen glands in the neck. And of course, for those who are facing a cancer diagnosis, it's important to have a comprehensive discussion with their doctor. So we really encourage patients to ask their doctors any and all questions that they have. We want them to ask what type of treatments are available to them, as well as what type of side effects they might expect from those treatments, because we want them to be thinking about quality of life overall. And quality of life is improving for those with head and neck cancer, thanks to a number of promising treatments. More recently, we've developed a general approach called immunotherapy, which basically tricks the patient's own immune system into attacking their tumor. And while head and neck cancer is one of the lesser known cancers among the general public, it's important to know that there are a number of places to turn for support. So we want to let patients and their caregivers know that there are disease-specific resources out there. For example, the Head and Neck Cancer Alliance, an organization called Support for People with Oral and Head and Neck Cancer. Their website is spohnc.org and also national organizations like Cancer Care at cancercare.org, which provide free professional supportive services, including individual counseling and support groups to help patients and their caregivers navigate the impact of the disease. Other great resources for those facing the prospect of cancer, and specifically head and neck cancer, are the National Cancer Institute at cancer.gov and the National Comprehensive Cancer Network at nccn.org. And of course, as always, consult your doctor when considering any type of cancer care. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life.